everybody and um, welcome back hope everyone's well I've done a little change to my setup so I'm hoping it's a little bit better and I am beginning to stitch the next thing which is text or words and I will show you what I've done in a second so I've used quite thin um, it's like a very, very light linen, very thin. And what I've done is put printed out the words. And they're all over the thing that I'll show you. It's going to be a surprise at the end. <laughs> uh, printed out the words, put this over the paper and basically traced with the the uh, heat pen so it'll come off and I'm doing a variety of long and short stitches over the lettering so you can see it, it it's very Christmassy unfortunately I wasn't expecting that but because we're doing Christmassy things it's sort of coming out a bit that way That it won't be too bad. Won't won't look Christmassy in the bigger scheme of things, I don't think. So we're nearly at the end. Nearly at the end of this volume of Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. Wonder what's next. Okay. So what's been happening here? Uh, Lily and Zach and everyone's left. I think I might have already said that. Uh, so they left and did the long trip back to Brisbane in the car. So nine hours driving two days in a row or actually ended up. It's funny, isn't it? Google Maps sometimes says uh, something takes X amount of time. And then really the reality is, is that when you're on the road driving, you stop for a cup of tea or a break. I mean, it was good because they had two of them driving. Um, it just takes longer. I don't even know why, because with two of them driving, they just didn't really have uh, any reason to do any extended stops because they were getting breaks. But anyway, they're back. And now today they are thoroughly resting up thoroughly resting just gonna fill in all these little gaps So um, on these little thin lines, so in the in the writing, they're joined by thin lines. So the downstrokes thick and then thin across, downstrokes thick and then thin across. That's how this type is. I just liked it. And I do think that the green, I like the green. I think it goes nicely. I always feel like it's fit. I can't even imagine what else to do on here. I think I've, now I've used my spare spaces. So what's this one prompt? Um, what are we up to? How many more prompts are there? Is this prompt nine or ten? So two more prompts, I guess. I think <laughs> don't quote me on it I'm just pumping it all out and I'm enjoying doing the uh, little Roxy's Christmas stitcheries making one of those a day over 12 days that's fun I don't have a tree up 
but I have decorated my table with my dining table with some tinsel and baubles and, and I've decided I'm going to I've got a long wall of um, they're like cupboards like a long row of cupboards and I think I might decorate along the top of there and I and that's a turning point for me um, so I don't know if anyone else is sort of in that kind of sort of spot where you realize now that all the kids are now they've left home now that the um, this is sort of taken over her house as the Christmas tree decorating house I feel a little bit like I don't actually have a need for a tree ever anymore um, and I don't know if anyone else is in that same sort of spot I mean lots of people don't have trees I guess so I'm enjoying just like creating a new tradition for me I guess just putting up the uh decorations in a very different way without the whole tree I might just sell my tree I'll see how I go I've put it in my bedroom cupboard part of um moving everything moving everything out of upstairs was to also be doing a downsize so um as you know I'm going to mind the cute little cat over in Footscray and I stay there overnight um, and I really admire, I've mentioned it before, I just really admire the way she worked out how to manage her storage in just a small, tiny little one bedroom unit. I don't know how she does it. It's all squashed in there and it's all packed in there. But then I thought, well, you know, there's a lot of storage in my bedroom in the cupboard that's sort of not being used or used for things that can go out. And so I ended up deciding instead of having it in the garage to put the Christmas tree in the corner of my cupboard in there. But if I don't put it up, this is the second year in a row I haven't put it up. I'm going to consider whether or not I'm ever putting up a Christmas tree again. Sad, isn't it? Or is it? I don't know. Is it sad? I don't know. Uh, this colour is 3818. I found, um, I had a, I do have a big box of all my embroidery threads. So a lot of, you know, a lot of part of a big clean out is, is just keeping what you know you use and getting rid of stuff but even you know like for me I've got say four tubs of big bits of material well I'm going to go through all of those and try and cull that down to one tub because you know around the corner you always get another thing so I don't need that much I don't need to have that much or keep that much And I did find some Christmas materials that I've been using for the Roxy's Christmas stitchery. So that's a bit of fun. Just feels like a kind of a new phase, you know. The last child's finally properly out of home. I nearly kept coming back. <laughs> that's all right. I didn't mind. Um, what I'm finding, finding with this one that because this is a quite a thick tag here, um, that it's actually a little bit hard sometimes to get in and embroider. Um, so this was the bottom of a hanky that I've used for this. I 
Okay. Um, I also um, couldn't find my hoops. I was going to put this, these, I was going to do it on a hoop just to keep it stretched out, but I'm sort of trying to really make sure I'm not pulling it tight. But I, honestly, <laughs> uh, I just actually rearranged some of the boxes that are still left to be unpacked because there's nowhere to put them. There's nowhere to put the materials till I really do a cull of what's already on the shelf and downsize and then start opening a box I mean I ha I've had to be ruthless that there's nothing 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 else to say other than I've been ruthless I'm being ruthless it's there's no choice about it and it does feel quite good to really offload a lot of stuff so I couldn't find my hoops <laughs> that was the point of that <laughs> I couldn't find my hoops <laughs> oh dear so split back stitch and then I start to do a sort of an overlaid short and long stem stitch. Uh, not stem stitch, satin stitch, sorry. Let's just call it short and long. So my sister is ending up having Christmas at her house after all. We were all thinking we were going to have a quiet one and just do little individual things. But um, her husband's brother died, so uh, we're going to go up there. Because they were thinking they were going to go and do something with his side of the family. But his side of the family, uh, he wants to do a Boxing Day. So... We're now having big Christmas at her house and uh, actually Huss will be coming along because that'll be the first Christmas that Huss is coming along because the last two years he's had um, his sister died the first time and then his mum was sick last year so he was away every time for Christmas which uh, you know it was part of the reason I actually broke up with him because I just thought oh, that's it's too important to me having family at Christmas, but he promised to be here this Christmas. So <laughs> he's going to get the experience. And what do other people, what do you people do for, what do you do? What do you do for your Christmas? What, what's, what's a thing that you love and cherish for your Christmas? We have, um, we have a funny game that we play. So we do Kris Kringle so that it's not a massive outlay of funds. Um, where everyone's name's drawn out of a hat and it's $100 and you just buy each other. You buy one present and it's from the whole family. And then the person also gets to sort of nominate what it is they want. I don't ever know what I want. When you're downsizing, it's like, what do I want? I don't even know if I want. But it's horrible if you're not in it. It's, it's a funny thing. It's like, oh, if you're not in it, it just doesn't feel right. <laughs> so... Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I didn't think I needed anything because I'm downsizing. And also it's sort of like it kind of cancels things out, you know, like you're getting, getting something and giving something and 
you could just go and buy it yourself but it's it's fun on the day so i thought that um i was doing some gardening and i realized my secateurs have been so annoying so i think i might i might get some set, new secateurs finished so the funny game we do so that's just the Kris Kringle so that's the presents and then what we do we have a game where everyone brings a present somewhere between 10 and 20 dollars and wraps it up and it's put under the tree for the funny KK game. Everyone gets a number and you go and pick a present off the table, unwrap it and hope to goodness that no one else wants it if you love it. And then down the track, someone can take it off you when they unwrap something if they don't like it. And there's only, I think, two swaps allowed. So, you know, you want to get the last, you want to get the last number really. <laughs> so you can have your choice, but then you don't want to pick a present that has already been, you know, like then, then you risk that you can't pick a present that's already gone twice if, you, if that's what you want. So anyway, it's a funny game. A, a ten, you know, nine times out of ten, you just come home with something that you just don't want, but it's fun. I'll see if I can get that last little bit. Anyway, that's our Christmas tradition that we do. My sister's got a big place with a swimming pool and the chooks. So, yeah, well, I'm excited actually to show Hus the chooks. I always send him a photo every time I'm up there, but uh, this will be very good okay so here we go here's my uh find joy in the journey so i have just loved using the edging so this was the handkerchief with a beautiful bit of embroidery and that's both the handkerchief and then what I did down here with this one I've used another bit of that edging here for the word journey and I think it just really pulls it in together nicely it's hard to see it um, I'll just do a little bit of a sort of a scroll like this so you can get an idea but I'll put a photo at the end so you can see the overall picture um, so there you go well, I'll see you in the next one. I'm really on a roll now. <laughs> Bye for now.